Well hello and welcome to a beautifully hot and sunny late August evening here in equally beautiful Nova Scotia. I'm in my front garden on the edge of my orchard there and I'm just about to start a project that is absolutely really dear to my heart. It sounds a bit um, uh, daft when you actually sort of uh, see what I'm actually about to do which is um, plant a hedge and a yew hedge at that. But why I say it's sort of dear to my heart because ever since I was a little kid um, when my mum used to take me to all these different stately homes in England like um, the home of Henry VIII at Hampton Court Palace in, in London and Osborne House on the Isle of Wight that was the uh, sort of summer home of Queen Victoria um, beautiful place on the Isle and the Isle of Wight itself is a, a, is a beautiful place but she used to take me to all these stately homes she used to save up the um, little tickets on the uh, back of cornflake packets and, and uh, we'd uh, be able to get the, the train down to these different sort of places and uh, so I knew it, you know it, it, we didn't have a lot of money when we were a kid and I knew it it took a lot for my mum to save up all these sorts of things so when we went to these places it was amazing and one of the things in these stately homes is they always had these beautiful yew hedges and often you know you'd have the different rooms in these uh, beautiful gardens and uh, you'd walk through a sort of what would be a wall of a hedge and that there'd be a secret doorway or you know a little archway and you'd walk through and there'd be another wondrous garden hidden by these hedges so I've always wanted one ever since I was a young kid and uh, I've been planning to do it but they're really expensive aren't they you know especially the size of my garden I thought it was going to be at least 12 to 1500 dollars to get a good decent sized hedge but I was down uh, in Bridgewater the other day and uh, just popped into Canadian Tire I'm going to give them a shout out because they've given me some cheap plants and they had all these different um, youngish you had you plants 36 dollars each or something like that so I bought 10 I'm actually too short because as you can see all along here it should go all along this side here and I'm too short at the other end there but I'll, I'll pick up another couple they had loads in the shop at the time but I'm gonna plant a yew hedge and if you can see behind me here um, well I've got this rhododendron on the side of me and as you can see we'll come round well what will actually happen I'm hoping in the future is we'll be in the front garden here there's my front door and you'll sort of come round and there'll be a, a, a proper garden in this in this front garden but there'll be this big rhododendron and there'll be where the bushes are sort of very low now there'll be a big yew hedge you know six ten foot high in a few years and then we'll come round here and there'll be an archway so that's where I've got sort of a, a, a wider bit here and you'll walk round and you'll walk in and then you'll see the actual orchard and the shady splendour with the beautiful lily there looking absolutely splendid but that'll be the point of the hedge it will sort of mask this new room and you'll walk into it and hey presto there is the orchard in all its splendour hopefully looking um, as beautifully as it at the moment so the hedge itself will be something in the region of about 40 foot long 40 to 50 foot long and hopefully you know get up to about six to ten foot high maybe eight foot that would be good enough so you itself is a you know is a beautiful plant and it's you know it's got a lovely feel to it evergreen so it's obviously a bonus and it keeps its shape well when you prune it so that's another good thing all of these I'm obviously gonna have to trim them back um, all of these long leaders so that next year they'll bush out a lot more and then keep bushing and you know keep trimming them as they go along just really the first few years just to keep them in shape so you know you is a great plant now when I am actually going to plant the hedge as you can see 
it's obviously grass here at the moment. So I could dig up, you know, a great big long trench all the way along to put, or dig up the grass all the way along there to, to um, allow the, the pots to go in, the plants to go in themselves. But I'm just gonna dig individual holes for each of the plants because those of you who've watched my videos before know how absolutely hideous um, the ground is around here and every two feet every foot you've got a few rocks and a lot lot bigger so I'm just going to dig up the um, a hole for the individual plant and then I'm going to cover the rest of the area with cardboard all the way along so the cardboard is going to act as a mulch and that will block out all of the um, the sunlight to the grass etc and so that will kill all that grass off so then the plants themselves won't have to compete with um, the uh, all the different grass and the, and the, the weeds etc and on top of that I'm going to put some um, bark chippings as well as a, a, a another mulch and then that will the cardboard will, will break down and then the the bark chippings will be on top and that will last a bit longer but it'll all go in to feeding these plants as well and all the soil along here so that is my plan what I've got to do now is uh, get on with it so I'm going to start digging this first hole come and have a look and we'll see uh, what we're going to find is it going to be rock rock city let's hope not eh? oh the other thing is I've um, planted I'm going to plant the yew bushes uh, three foot apart just about three foot on centre Really, I'd like to have made them two foot apart, but that's just a lot more expense. And you know, this is like it's going to be like near enough five hundred dollars as it is. I'm not Rockefeller, so uh, um, three foot apart. It will just take a, that little bit longer for them to actually grow together. But I'm I'm comfortable with that. Um, so three foot apart it is. So I'm going to start at the edge of the house, at the start of the obviously hedge or the end of the hedge. Which, uh, depending which way you're looking at it. Anyway, um, about a couple of feet out from the house, just so it's got a bit of chance there to grow outwards that way, and just, um, just under a foot in from the actual pathway itself. And I'm gonna dig a hole um, just a little bit deeper and wider than the pot itself, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, compost around the edges. Let's have a look and see how many rocks I'm gonna find. So it's definitely going to be fun anyway. <laughs> I think I'll let you go for a few minutes and uh, get on with it. Right, let's have a look shall we? That is just about there. I want this um, slightly raised above here because I'm going to create, I'm going to put a bit of uh, earth down along here as well. And I want, I don't want them sitting in water. I don't want them, you know what I mean? I don't want the, the trunk, etc., underneath the line and sitting in water, especially over the winter, etc. So I want it slightly. A little tiny bit raised and then with the cardboard and the mulch on top etc that is going to sort of come up to that level so that is good as you can see there just slightly above so let's take it out of the pot still nice and nice and damp i've given it a good water in So I'm just going to fill in around the edges of this. I've got some nice compost I'm going to put down. Just 
So there we go. That is all of the line of yew trees, bushes, all planted. Save, I think I need two, maybe three, just where I'm standing along here. But looking good, all watered in. I also watered the hole before I actually put the yew bush in there. So that just gives the roots something down there to drink. And then I've watered on top when I've planted it in. Filled around the sides, made sure there's no air gaps. Otherwise, the actual roots won't get a chance or won't want to go through that air gap. So make sure, I've made sure it's nice and filled all the way around. And uh, looking good. What I'm gonna do is actually take some cuttings from, you know, because I want to trim these up now. And I'm gonna take, once I've trimmed them up, I'm actually gonna take cuttings and, and plant them in some, uh, in some compost. And hopefully, you know, a few of those will take. So I've got some extra bushes around the bazaars, you know, to be able to put in. So that's good. Right, next job is to lay down the cardboard mulch and uh, just put some cuts around the actual plant so that the weeds can't come up, at least initially anyway, um, to, to grow and take off, you know, any of the energy from the actual plants themselves. So uh, cardboard mulch and then I'll put down the bark chippings. So bark chippings on top of that, make it look a bit better rather than the ugly cardboard. So onto that. So I've given, well I'm going to give all the bushes another good watering so that when the actual cardboard goes over they've, you know, they've got enough um, water in there around their roots before they sort of, because uh, the the cardboard's going to act as a bit of a a bit of a barrier, isn't it, to start with? So let's give the actual um, plants a really good watering, so they've got a good bit of water down there. And then, one, and I've also um, watered the cardboard itself to soften it up, so that will, you know, the rain will easier penetrate that once you know, it rains in the next couple of days, hopefully. Either way, I'll still be watering. Um, you know, on, on hot days now, I'll be keeping these bushes watered, well watered, every couple of days, you know, to give them a good chance, good head start. So I'm going to cut some splits. In the cardboard. Right, so that's the general gist. Just to lay the cardboard mulch all the way along, which is what I'm going to do take me a few minutes and then on to the bark chippings but this should act as a good barrier now for any of the grass and weeds etc coming up they'll all rot down and provide some you know nutrition to the plants and the roots around them and then obviously the cardboard will rot down as well and uh, all the uh, microorganisms will, will bring that down as well over time you know over the next uh, year or so right I'm going to get on with the rest of this cardboard There we go, job done. Looking good, if I must say so myself, actually. Quite happy with that. As you can see, I've got the uh, bark chippings all the way along now, acting as a mulch, and underneath that is the cardboard, really sort of uh, doing the work, gonna do all the work to cut out the light to the weeds and kill all the weeds and the grass off, but also, shading the roots of the of the bushes so that they get a good um, chance and keeps it moist down there so they get a good chance to sort of get themselves going over the next few months and this end of august going into autumn now is a really good time to be planting hedges yew hedges especially it gives them a good chance now over the next few months in the autumn the temperatures have cooled but it's still you know nice bit of sun still a decent uh, a bit of temperatures might be a bit more rain and they can work their roots in before winter comes and sort of set them set themselves fair for the winter and, and, uh, and next year. So 
really pleased with that. Just got these couple more to do here, um, which I'll pop down the shop tomorrow and, and hopefully get a couple, put them in, but that's it. Over the next few years, hopefully they're gonna sort of come up nice and high now and all come together so that there'll be one of those beautiful yew hedges that I was uh, eulogizing about at the start of the video. Uh, last thing, like I said, I'm going to uh, prune the hedges, cut all these leaders off and take some cuttings, etc. I'll do that in another video. I think this one's gone on long enough, but there we go. One yew hedge for the use of, planted. Job is definitely a good one.